Do you want to know how to add glowing effect to ground cracks? Hi, my name is Samza Swail and I'll teach you how to make this effect. Stay tuned till the end of the video for a bonus trick to enhance the coolness of this effect. To get started, you'll need to download a ground texture with cracks from the Quixel Mega Scan. I selected this one. Now let's move to the blender. Add a plane. We'll also add a camera. Press Alt G. Place it in the center and set all the rotations to zero move this camera up a little bit press zero to view the camera with a view mode check this camera to view after setting this camera i will uncheck this option like this plane then add a material i will name this material surface go to the shading tab and we are going to add all our textures that we have just downloading from the mega scan so here all of these are the textures that we have just downloaded from the mega scan a base color emitter occlusion map roughness and normal map add a math vector node set this to multiply we are going to add combine the base color and ambient, ambient occlusion map so first we need to select the cracks in the ground for this we are going to use the ambient occlusion map if i show you the ambient occlusion map you can see that the cracked area are highlighted as black and the remaining area flat surface is highlighted as white so we will use this map but we want the cracks to be highlighted as white and the other area as black for this we will add an invert node invert color and connect this to here now if, if i show you this node this is what is happening the cracks are highlighted as white and the remaining area is black now we want to control the amount of glow or you can say that area and the contrast let me show you by placing matte node the first one will be multiply second one will be the power if i increase the value of multiply you can see that the amount of white area is increasing and if i decrease the amount of white area is getting dull now by changing the value in the power exponent value you can see that we can increase and decrease the contrast so by adjusting these two values we can get our result i will add a value of one to the both of these nodes for now now we have select our cracks now it's time to add color to these cracks. For this, add a mix node, mix color, connect this to here. And this node works that wherever the color is black, we are going to show first color. And wherever the color is white, we are going to show the second color. Now if I view this node, you can understand what this node is doing. Anywhere the color is like black, we want to show our texture, base color. And anywhere where the color is white, we want to show the second color. For this, I will add a color ramp node. Select the color according to your liking. I will add an orange color here and a yellow color. Okay, now connect this to here, this one here. We'll also connect these texture this one is a roughness texture we will connect this to roughness this one is a normal map so i will add a normal map node and we have to add the emission for this i will again use this mix color node i will use this node here anyway the color is black we want to show no emission so i will set this value to zero or black and anywhere the color is white i want to show emission of this color and connect this node to emission set the emission strength according to your liking i'll set this to a very high value about uh, something like 70 maybe this is uh, showing in ev i will change this to cycles Go to the world properties, set the strength of the face to zero. Press Shift A. Light. Go to the layout tab. Move this up something like this. Press R to rotate this light something like 40 and also on Z. 
press RG, something like we can change this later. Press Ctrl B, highlight this area only. Select the light source. Connect this to emission. Set the strength to 70. Now, here these nodes came. We are going to render this image. I will use cycles render. Select this to GPU and maximum samples to 1000 and render this image. Go to the compositing mode, turn on use nodes, add a view node, connect this image to here. Now I will also add a clear node. Set this one to foglow. Increase the size, decrease the threshold, something like 0 0.5. Now see the difference between before compositing and after compositing. Go to the rendering tab and it was on the render result. I will change this to view node. So this is after compositing. Image, save as. I will save this image. Surface. Where we can use this. I use this effect to enhance the presentation of my assets. Feel free to utilize this effect in any setting you have preferred. If you'd like to explore more of my renders featuring this effect, you can find the project link in the description below. Here's the moment you've been waiting for, the bonus part. Ready to enhance that glow? We'll be using Photoshop for this step. Add levels and move these sliders. After adding levels, I will add a solid color, change the color to orange and set this one to linear dodge and select the mask, press ctrl i to invert the marks. Select the brush, increase the size and set the flow to something like a value of 4 to 5. Now we are going to add glow to these edges a little bit more. Increase the size of the brush. I will select the soft brush. Increase the size. Select this color to white. Paint these areas. Now decrease the size of the brush. Decrease the size a little bit more. You can see the difference. If this is too much, you can always decrease the opacity or the fill according to your liking. I'll set this to 70. Next, we will add another solid color. This time, a little yellow color, brighter yellow color. Again, select this mask, press Ctrl I to invert this mask. You can also change the amount of this glow. I'll set this to 50. You can always change the color according to your likings, like a little reddish color or orange color to this. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like any part of this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.